Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, I will show you how to create a rating bar with emotional expressions in Android Kotlin. So this is our sample application which we are going to create in our today's tutorial, right? So this is our rating bar here. If we select first uh, part of our rating bar, at that time it uh, changes our expression to in sadness manner, right? If we if I select two stars, at that time the expression changes a little bit. If I if I select three stars. At that time it becomes the normal and if I select 4 stars which means it becomes happy and if I select all the stars which means 5 stars it becomes more happy. So this type of rating bar which we are going to create in our today's tutorial. Here we also we are having skip button. If I skip uh, this button uh, currently it will just show the toast message but you can uh, change the uh, logic behind that. And this is our submit button after selecting our ratings uh, we can click on submit. And then we will be directed to our main application, right? So this type of application that we are, we are going to create in our today's tutorial. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So head back to Android Studio, and here I had created an empty Kotlin project, and I had given it name as Emotion Rating. So just extend your project, and uh, under the source folder, under the main folder, inside our Java folder, we are we are having main activity, main Kotlin file, right? I had already did some programming so for now just ignore this now in order to create this type of uh, like this type of rating bar activity emotional we need to use some external libraries so for that just go to chrome and just search for the emotion rating view right so you will find this library which is created by ruby garage and uh, here uh, you can find the sample app you can download it for the reference and uh, this type of output will get using this library. So in order to use this library, we need to uh, import this dependency into our Android Kotlin project, right? So just copy this Marvin URL and go to our project and under build.gradl file, that is app build.gradl, just copy that uh, URL here under the repositories. And then we need to import our dependency. So just copy this dependency from here and paste it into build.gradl file and the dependency section. As you can see, I had already did that and then sync your project. After successfully syncing your project, now your application is ready to work with this library, right? So just go back to this library and you can uh, get the reference of uh, how to use this library here from this XML and Java code. But uh, I'll suggest you to download this sample app and then uh, it will be easy for you to understand how it works. So I had already downloaded that app under my downloads folder and this is over that app right sample app so under the app and the source folder and the main directory i'm having here three folders right so first one is ss folder now ss folder uh, contains the uh, our uh, graphical user interface uh, of our ui of our application which will be by default so this is our by default ui uh, which will display on your application right so just uh, copy this assets folder and paste into our application directory right in the, under the main folder so i did that uh, i had pasted it here right so this is our uh, ui and then just go to our xml file and here uh, i had uh, background i had changed my background view I had used my emotional rating library and I had uh, added the gradient color to my background view. So before that, in under the values folder, here I am having styles.xml in which I had added some sort of colors for my application, right? So this is my application colors. Now uh, here as you can see, I had passed the variable of my color. So if I press control and click on this color, it will be directed to gradient.xml which uh, is here, right? this file. In this file, I had stored all the colors, right, in format of array, right. So in this way, I can uh, access the gradient colors in my application. Now, if uh, now let's talk about the name, what, what I have stored here. So here, yeah, I have stored the radius of my for my submit button round corners, right, this uh, rounded corners. I want this rounded corners for my submit button. For that, I have created here radius of 35 dp, right. So if I go to strings, uh, here I had uh, stored all the strings which I had uh, passed the into my XML file as an object, right? So I had uh, accessed the string from my XML file. Now let's go to drawable folder and see what I had stored here. 
So on that reliable folder, I have stored all the XML uh, code for my UI designing. For example, for square skip button, I had changed the stroke of my skip button and then shape uh, like this. And for submit button, I had uh, changed the this one. I had made it curve and change the background to white and I had given radius as 35 dp so this type of stuff uh, we can do by using this uh, XML code uh, you can fi find this all the files in your sample project that we had downloaded here and you can uh, just get uh, all these things from there and then I had created a text view for this uh, please let our app uh, string and one more text view for this stuff to let us know about your thoughts and then I had created a button which is my skip button and then down below here I had created an emotional view which is this part of code which is which displays this sad uh, emoji here expressions and then if I go down here you will find the rating uh, view of 5 stars and then one at the end I had created a button which is submit button so in this way you can design your XML file and now let's talk about main programming uh, behind this uh, rating expression rating uh, emotion rating view right so i had created a companion object and i had created two variables here uh, first one is, is default theme and uh, second one is rating now what we are going to do in our application uh, whenever we uh, submit and rating for uh, this uh, we will uh, change the theme of our rating uh, bar right every time uh, i submit it Next time it will display with different things, right? Uh, first one was with purple color and now it comes with orange color. So this uh, for this we need, we need to have two uh, things for our uh, rating bar, right? So for that uh, this uh, variable I created is the default theme. The, our default theme is orange one, right? So I now under the on create method I have created the variable called as preference. And now we are uh, that whenever the user will rate our application, the ratings will be stored into uh, we need to store ratings somewhere, right? So in my application, I had used the shared preference uh, for storing that uh, ratings, right? So we need to use preference manager dot get default shared preferences, and then I had kind of pass the context of my application. Now, uh, first of all, we need the default theme for our rating, right? Uh, so is default theme get boolean uh, is default theme uh, we had make made it true at this time, and this one is uh, set theme. Uh, if its default theme is true at that time the app theme becomes the uh, uh, this one uh, if uh, it is by default at that time it will change it to orange if it is not by default at that time it will change its color to ruby garage theme now under the style uh, dot xml file here styles dot xml you can find out this one ruby garage theme which color it consists of ruby garage theme right this one ruby garage team now i think this is uh did this holds the purple color right this holds the purple color which means second one is purple color and by default it is orange color so if uh, our application is by default uh, theme at that time it will take the orange color else it will take the ruby garage team which is uh, purple color and then we had linked the our uh, xml code with us and then uh, here we are having the variable called is rating view which is the object of our rating view right which we are created in xml code this one rating view right so rating view on set uh, rating change listener if we change the rating of our application at that time it creates the two variables previous rating and new rating uh, right and uh, then emotion view dot set rating uh, as we are changing the rating uh, as per that ratings the emotions which are will also be changed in our uh, output right this part of code this part of ui will also change as per ratings right so for that emotion view dot set rating previous rating and new rating we will pass both the object here and then as per that if we change the ratings the background color should also change right as you can see your background color is changing gradient is changing so for that gradient background view dot change background previous rating and new rating and then we are having submit button uh, if i had not rated anyone at that time the same submit button will be disabled and if I rate any one of the star from here at that time uh, submit button will be unable so for enabling the our submit button I had used is enable method right now uh, save instance state 
this uh, rating will be saved into a preference variable and now we are having skip button whenever we click on our skip button and that it will display this toast message and then finally we are having a submit button and when we uh, will click on submit button it will display the toast message that uh, you had uh, click on the submit button and it will store that rating into shared preferences right so preferences dot edit and we'll put boolean method to store this variable and is default theme which is the object of our current theme uh, and apply and then finish and then we will start our activity which means it will be diverted to our uh, main activity right and after some time it will be back to our uh, second theme right after some time submit after some time of submitting our application ratings it will back to our rating bar of different theme right so this type of source code i did here and you can get this source code from the sample app which you have downloaded so let's run the application once more and see if it is working fine or not So as you can see our rating bar has been displayed fine and our submit button is disabled currently and when I click any one of the star, star uh, it becomes unable right. Uh, let's change the expressions and when I click on submit the, all the ratings has been stored into my shared preference and it is diverted to my main application and now after some time it will display the again display the rating bar with the X emotion and with different theme right. And if I uh, again uh, do rating and if I click on submit again it will be diverted to my default application and again it will show me the uh, rating bar with default theme. So in this way we can create this type of application uh, using Android Kotlin and I will link up this uh, github link in description so you can just refer it for your future scope. So hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.